Let's look at some more vintage American pencils with a vaguely Halloween tie-in. Hello everyone. Unlike a lot of collectors, I do not differentiate too much between sharpened and unsharpened pencils when I am collecting. If I find a pencil of a variety that I do not yet have, I will take it whether it is sharpened or not. However, if I have only one of a certain pencil and it happens to be unsharpened, I hesitate to sharpen it and often will not for that reason. Or if I find an even dozen of a particular pencil, I will tend to leave them all intact because I don't want to break up the unit of the dozen. So I was really thrilled to find recently this pack of pencils with an even dozen unsharpened and a spare of the same variety. So yay me. Today we're going to look at these vintage American pencils from the Reliance Pencil Company. First, let's look at the generic sleeve these came in. I think these were manufactured some connection with the Pencil Makers Association or uh, some group of American pencil manufacturer, manufacturers that uh, all used a very similar sleeve um, that does not include the name of the manufacturer on it. Uh, which I, th I find peculiar, but I find these on a lot of different manufacturers' pencils. So the packaging only says quality lead pencils and made in USA. Um, that's all we have here. Uh, let's pull one of these out. What I have is a Ravenwood pencil, and I think I'm releasing this video if I am looking at the calendar correctly during the week in which Halloween falls, so... Kind of a uh, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, a, a noir edition of uh, moving about and manipulating objects, as dark as a pencil review can be. Um, I guess that's maybe a bridge too far. So let's just uh, stick with the pencil itself. Ravenwood, Reliance, USA. Got the bonded lead there that you see so often on pencils of various manufacturer. Um, product number 1080. It's a number two pencil. Very plain, modern looking ferrule. Which, uh, I guess my newest test that I test on these. Not steel. Probably aluminum. Looks like uh, something you'd find on a very modern pencil cheap manufacturer. Standard yellow. Let's compare it with the standard American yellow pencil, the Ticonderoga. It's a much more orange yellow than the Ticonderoga. We look at the pack as a group. The cores seem to be well centered, and you can see a grain in the wood. Hopefully, you can see the grain in the wood. That usually indicates you're looking at a cedar wood pencil. And probably when this manu was manufactured, that would have been the, the usual wood used. I don't see too many pencils from Reliance that I come across in my day-to-day -day searches at flea markets and thrift shops. Um, I have a few that I found nearby prior to recording. The Riviera, which is uh, probably similar in its intended market. Similar cheap ferrule, standard yellow, 
the print is uh, very similar. And then this lovely pencil, I'd love to find some more of these. The Reliance Templar 777. This is a 2 and 4 eighths. Just an absolutely gorgeous pencil. The paint job is much more nice. Gives you a sense that this is a uh, more premium pencil than the Ravenwood. Has a nicer ferrule that appears to be brass with a colored band. If I had to guess, the Templar predates the Ravenwood. Based on the brass ferrule. Has a uh, more lacquered looking finish. you can get a sense of that just has a more high quality feel to it all in all very nice pencil again would love to come across some more of these don't see them that often uh, but today's pencil we're going to stick with the Ravenwood and give it a try since I have one already sharpened I don't need to sacrifice one from this complete box Feels like a standard number two to me. Now the angle I have you uh, viewing from is not the best, I apologize. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get a better look at the wood on this. Based solely on appearance, I would say that is cedar. Put a fresh sharpen on that. See if I can be more sure using an Upsara long point sharpener here. Has the appearance of cedar and the smell test confirms that is definitely cedar so they did not go cheap on the wood the finish isn't the most premium that you will get on a pencil the print is rather on the boring side I'm trying to determine if that's just black print it almost looks like a very, very deep green, but uh, might just be age that's fooling me. You can see some of the print has worn away. Nice standard school or office pencil by Reliance. Um, glad to add them to my collection. Don't think I've ever seen one before prior to finding the uh, dozen with a spare. And I'm glad I found it. Thanks for joining me today for this brief pencil review. And I hope to see you here again next time.